sculpted by NFL football. Icons erecting everlasting memories. Laying down roots for future generations. This is Brooklyn. City, the number 20 is as sacred as Thanksgiving Day. It's Barry taking the torch of those that came before. Well, you have that extra week off, and then you have all the scrutiny. All the insane amount of publicity has got to be draining before the big game. No, Jim, you know better than that. You and I laugh about it all the time. These players love it. You can't talk about them enough. What do you think about me? Tell me more. We love it. So they can't wait to get a chance to go out there and play today and see who's the best. Hello, friends. Jim Nancy, Phil Sims here in Arizona getting set for Super Bowl 49. The last time the Super Bowl was here was a wild one with the Giants beating the undefeated at the time, New England Patriots. Maybe we've got another good one like that in store today. I think we have a wild one in store again today. Both uh, coaches are willing to take chances. They are daring. Sit in your seats for the kickoff. Talk all week long about this one, and finally we're ready for kickoff. The receiving team has the recovery. Here's the man who leads the Lions high octane attack, quarterback Matthew Stafford. Burleson's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. And the quarterback is taken down. Well, that time, getting sacks early in the football game, just not a good job by the quarterback. He had the time. He held on to the football too long. You just got to get rid of him. Into the open flag. Inhales the pass. Here's a look at the offensive unit. It needs to get off to a strong start today. It's third down coming up. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Oh, a little sloppy here, and the ball is buffed. Advances it out to about the nine. So we've got a young quarterback with some experience stepping onto the field today for the first time. With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Three-step drop. He's looking long. Oh, almost caught. Here's the offensive line. And for this team, they are the lifeblood of the offense. When they're blocking well, this team can do some serious damage. And today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Andre Johnson on the deep pass. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. As we get a look at the defensive starters, these linebackers will be counted on today to make plays in the running and passing games. Now, looking at third down. He'll fire it out to the left. Unable to complete that one, and that's a very quick three and out. The defense comes out in the nickel. 
throwing now to his left. Right where it had to be. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They're going to get him here for a sack. A lot of yardage to make up here after that sack. It's second down. Scrambling out of the pocket. Brought down at the 47-yard line. That time they got great pressure on the quarterback. He stood in the pocket as long as he could. But once he broke outside, still looking down the field, trying to get that big pass play, it's not there. He takes off, and what a nice game running the football. And it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Quick drop back. Going to take off with it. Has the first down. Now looking for more. I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short. Fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition, but a good job that time getting it. Wells has got it on the handoff. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. You start out in bad field position. It's up to the coach to get you out of it. What a job by the coordinator. They have marched down the field. Now they're inside the red zone. Let's see if they can score. First and ten, eyeing that left side. And that's a touchdown. First one of the game in the Super Bowl. Nothing like scoring first in any game. But when you do it in the Super Bowl, you can just times it by 10 because the pressure builds on the other team. They know they're behind. They want to score some points. It just makes it tougher when you get on the board first. And a touchback. The Dodgers' defense now is going to go nickel. First and ten. J.J. Watt rushes the quarterback. As we take a look at the defense for the first time today, these starters and the secondary will be challenged today in both the passing and running games. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Brings it in. Four yards. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. Makes the grab. Bites off the hit. And he's out of bounds. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. He's going to try and return this punt. Spins out of the defender's clutches. And Daniels is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Andre Johnson on the deep pass, very nearly intercepted. When you get a guy open in the NFL down the field like that, you have to put the football on the money. And that time, the quarterback did not do it. Second down here. The defense gets the sack. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? The secret side. Touchdown. Well, that is so 
something to watch, isn't it? A Hail Mary pass that goes for a touchdown. You think there is no chance this is going to work. But every once in a while you get lucky. That's what the offensive did. They got lucky and they get the touchdown. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. On the run. So they get the touchdown. But they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. down as they head to the line. Bush going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense and now they have a good situation. Matthew Stafford backed off the line. Shotgun formation from the gun. Catch is made. That brings the play to an end. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Bush is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Defense calls a timeout. Coming to the line at the 45. They face first down. Stafford in shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. End of one here in Glendale, Arizona. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. Burleson's lined up in the slot. And the give to Reggie Bush. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. And he's taken down. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side. It's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. He'll fire it out to the left. On his way. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's going to take it home for the touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? You're right. Easy touchdown pass. Getting away from the pressure. Got the touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. The Lions are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. For a touchback. down all the way looking across the middle in on the stop 
Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Burleson's in the slot. Second down and five. The handoff to Reggie Bush. They tackle him for a loss. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Throws to the right. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. First and ten. He's looking to the right. And intercepted! That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results... Usually it's going to turn into an interception. Offense lines up here. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Wells is lined up in a single back formation. Here's the handoff to Beanie Wells. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Airing it out. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. The kick is good. Well, the defense is going to be excited. They come out there. The offense has great field position, but they stop them. But they give up three points, but still a victory for the defense. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Lions will go with the pistol on this play. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Detroit in for the touchdown. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. Lions set to kick it. Runs it out to about uh, 27 before he's taken down. Wells is lined up as the single back. First and 10. Here's Beanie Wells carrying the football. The off-tackle run. It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. The defense comes out in the nickel. Play fake here. Andre Johnson on the deep pass. And that ball's nearly picked off. But he dropped it. The quarterback is going to hate himself tomorrow when he watches this tape. Because you only get a chance for big plays in the NFL about three or four times a game. That one just went by. And they sack him on third down. And they force the quick three and out. And Daniels is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Step back to the quarterback, out of the gun, trying to work that left side. They'll turn it over on downs. Good job by the defense that time. 
fourth down, they were ready for everything. Very aggressive, fast. They make the play, and this could change the game around. Now first and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. And this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. Bush. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, these plays do look ugly, but they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. Third down, following the run. Stafford's got it in the gun. Matthew Stafford looking long. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Set to kick it. Fair catch signal made. The Brooklyn Dodgers bring in an extra tight end for this play. Almost intercepted. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. Going for the home run. Tucks it under, now throws, and it's incomplete. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. The Lions come out, and the nickel gets away from the pressure. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down, you get it. I'll give you that, but I still think it was a bad decision. First down, offense readying for the snap. Heaving it down the field, and he's almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. And Daniels is playing out of position in the backfield here. On second and ten. He wants to go deep. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Nickel formation for the defense here. He's looking to go down the field here. What a catch. He's in for the touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Lions just can't stop them here before the half, and now they'll await for the kickoff facing a sizable deficit. The scores, 31 to 10. 
no return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Easy catch there. No one near him. Good piece of tackling. The Lions signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. So, first and goal to go. Going across the middle. That pass was hurried. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Second and goal from the two. Tipped away. Good job that time by the defender. Read the quarterback. He sees the receiver. Gets in good position and knocks it away. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Bush is going to secure the handoff. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, Coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Should be an easy one here. kick is good nice little recovery that time by the field goal holder he gets it in position this kicker he is a machine right down the middle and a touchback Johnson's going to get set in the slot for this snap and they sack the quarterback. Wells is in the backfield. Single back set. The Dodgers call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Complete, almost intercepted. These NFL receivers are so fast that you just got to get rid of that football and let it go. That time, the quarterback waits a little too long, and he underthrows the receiver down the field. This will be the last play before halftime. Working that left side, Wells is going to pull in the bullet pass. That does it for the first half. Lions trailing this one. Lions set to kick it. We'll send him to the 20 yard line. Wells is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Loads it up, it's going deep. And he makes the catch. All these love them and all the experts say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. Well, tell me about that after that throw and catch. That reception gave them the first down. Here's the handoff to Beanie Wells. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second down and six. Here's Beanie Wells carrying the football. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket and it takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. First and goal. They hand it off to the running back. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. Jams it across the goal line for the touchdown.
when you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Brooklyn Dodgers lined up now for the point after. An extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down here. Matthew Stafford looking long. That's an interception. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down coming up. Looking to go deep. Able to get a step. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. He made it. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. Two tight ends. First and 10. And the give to Reggie Bush. And he's brought down by Brian Cushing. Offense lines up here. Second down and seven. Under fire on that throw. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. That reception picks up the first down. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Johnson's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Here's the draw. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and nine. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Under pressure and incomplete. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. All right, now listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get the perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. They're in punting formation. They tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Well, that time, he only gets a couple yards, and if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. Now on first down, dropping back three. Launches it down the field, and they can't connect. Deep passes in the NFL, they always serve a purpose. You're not always going to get the completion. But at least it gets the defense thinking that you will try some long throws down the field. 
on second and ten. Going for the deep ball. Pulls it in. He has just broken the NFL receiving yardage mark for a single game. Yeah, the defense has tried everything, haven't they? They're changing everything. They're blitzing the quarterback. They're double-teaming the wide receiver. Nothing can stop them. The quarterback's been on target, and the receiver is making every catch. The margin is increased with another touchdown. I don't know, Jim, if they're ever going to stop them in this game, but that's not the offense's problem. They're leading big. They drove down again and got another touchdown. They are awesome today. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. And a touchback. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Bush is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Second down and nine. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And incomplete. Well, the best thing you can say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible for protection. Nowhere to throw it, just throw it away. Matthew Stafford backed off the line, shotgun formation. Third and nine. Throws to the right. Calvin Johnson with the catch. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. Here's the first snap after the big play. Stafford standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Gains 13. Quarterback's best friend. Throw a short pass and see it turn into big yards. What a job that time by the pass receiver. Catches the short pass and picks up big yards afterwards. Nice job. First and 10. Matthew Stafford looking. Touchdown. Lions. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. And the point after is good. Lions set to kick it. Signals right away. Fair catch. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Looking long. Right down Broadway. No one's going to get him now. The 10. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Boy, the defense is going to be upset after this long touchdown throw by the quarterback and receiver. They made a mistake out of position, and the offense took advantage of it, and they get the long throw for a touchdown out of it. This one's not leaving the end zone. Bush is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. First down and 10. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. He steps out. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Burleson's in the slot. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gains 17. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer, but these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. First and ten. The handoff to Reggie Bush. Searching for space to the right. 
Touchdown. Just give this guy a little hope. This running back is so fast. If you block him just a little bit, get him in the open field, look out. He can make it happen. Count it. Ryan set to kick it. right at the 30-yard line after that return. They come to the line, and it's first down. Down the field, and incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Second down and 10. Andre Johnson on the deep pass and almost picked off. He was wide open, Phil. What in the world happened that time with the quarterback's throw? Well, it was a beautiful play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Caught the defense by surprise. And the I don't know what happened, Jim. Maybe he threw it so perfectly that he carried about three or four more yards than he expected. But you must hit open receivers like that. I know his quarterback coach is going to yell at him when he goes to the sideline. When you're throwing the long pass down the field, don't underthrow it like that. Offense lines up here. He's going deep. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Good job by the defense. Their team is down. It's in the second half, and the opposing offense, what do they do? They go for it on fourth down. You are ready for the play. You make the stop. That'll turn things around. We're through three now in Glendale, Arizona. Back momentarily for the start of the fourth. The Lions are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. After running it, it's second down. Tight end in motion. The final quarter underway now with this snap. He stacked up at that point. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First and goal. Stack Detroit in the end zone. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. The point after try is in the books. The Lions have the football resting on the tee, and they're about to send it down the way. What a stand by the defense. Turning it over on downs and giving the offense a great starting point from which they took advantage and put points on the board. First down here. Let's go. Here's the running play. Off tackle. And he'll step out of bounds. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded at that play. He showed that speed. Get out there and picking up those extra yards. First down here after the run. And they go back to the ground. They bring him to the turf. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gets him a few yards. It's now second down. Wells is going to take the handoff now. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Launching it deep. Could have been intercepted. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. The defense comes out of the nickel. 
running away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. Gotta have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. And Daniels is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. The throw to the left. No one in sight has the grab. Tackle down at the 22. That pass and catch gives now the quarterback the record. For the most passing yards in a single game, what a performance. Yeah, to break a record like this, you need a couple of things. you got to throw the ball extremely well. you got to have receivers catch it and get some yards after the catch. They did all the above today. Uh, it was fun to watch. Tossing it to the running back. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second down and eight looks to his left. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. God, it's a terrible job by the defense. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Going to lose yards here. Play after play after play here on this drive. Staying on the ground. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. This is going to set up a change of possession. Boy, the offense looked like they were rolling, just going down the field. Beautiful drive. Their confidence is up. And what do they do? They choke in the big moment, and they do not pick up the fourth down. First and ten. He's brought to a halt. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Bush, straight ahead. Well, that short gain's going to come in handy for the offense, even if they don't get a first down. Those couple yards will make a punting situation a lot easier for him. Third and seven. And the give to Reggie Bush. So a three and out. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals. Fair catch. is lined up in a single back formation. He'll fire it out to the left. Sticks to his hands. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Holds him to seven. Second down and three following that nice run. Throws the pass. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. It'll be third down. Three-step drop. Escaping the pressure. That's a gain of seven. Well, you get in a situation like this, Jim. The offense, they get in the huddle. They know. They all talk about it. If we score here, the game is over. No margin for error from just a touchdown as we near the end of this one. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. 
The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Good touchback. Burleson's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. It's J.J. Watt behind the line of scrimmage. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. The Lions are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. defense here trying to avoid the deep pass third and 15 and challenging the defenders to the right side forces a three and out and the offense will call a timeout the punter awaits the snap waves his arm and he's going to make a fair catch will go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set Andre Johnson on the deep pass what a catch shakes off the hit touchdown they're just running it up well that touchdown just put the icing on the cake Jim whatever you want to say because now the lead's too big not enough time for the other team to come back great job by the offense Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. That's a timeout call. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. The tackle is made. Burleson is going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. Even on short passes, accuracy is a big, big deal. When you put it on them right in stride, look what happens. They catch it in stride. They don't slow down, of course, and good things happen. Nice touchdown run. Signals, fair catch. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Greens lined up in the slot. First and 10. Andre Johnson on the deep pass. Hauls it in deep down the middle. Well, Jim, what a day for this offense. You know, they're blowing the team out, and here they are once again in the red zone. I, hey, listen, if I was them, I'd go ahead and try to punch it in one more time. They're lining up for the field goal. The kick is through for three. Brooklyn has won the Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy is heading to New York. Super Bowl champions, an unbelievable year ending with a great Super Bowl victory. How do you handle the pressure? They handled it well, and handling that pressure was the difference. That's why they won the game.
exciting and most beautiful plays in the NFL is the long pass down the field by a quarterback right to the receiver who takes it all the way for the touchdown. Beautiful play. Lombardi Trophy triumphantly. What a season it's been for them, and no better way to top it off than with a Super Bowl victory. Truly a special moment. For Phil Sims and all the crew, I'm Jim Nance. Stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up show, and we'll see you next year here on EA Sports.